Hello and welcome to today's group call messenger help video. We'll be showing you how to create and send a form via messenger. When in forms, click create new form. And then in build a form, click go. Then you'll need to give your form a name. And here you can choose where to send your form to. You can send the form to the parents regarding their child, to the parents not regarding their child, a form to students or to staff, or you can create a link so that guests can complete the form anonymously. Now you can begin to build your form by adding components. As you can see, there's lots of different components to choose from. You can refer to the forms help guide for information on all the components. The link will be in the description below. So today we're just going to add some text to our form. You can insert your text here and format it to make it look the way you'd like it to. You can also add tokens to personalize your form. For example, like including the student's first name. Now we'll add another component. This time we'll choose a tick box list. So you can enter the question. And then each tick box option. We're going to choose one tick box selected at a time, but there is the option to have multiple options selected if you prefer. So once you've got all your different components, you can drag and drop them to reorder them. And when you click preview, you can test your form as it's being built. Once the form is good to go, you can click create form. After that, you can select the due date for the form and a reminder date if you wish. You can also confirm who the form is being sent to and select which parent priorities to send to. You can select or search for a recipient and do the same for a group. You've also got the option to preview your form in a browser or via email before you send. You can then schedule to send your form at a later date or time. Or you can send it straight away. You'll then be taken to the results page where you can watch your responses come in. Thank you so much for watching this help video. If you still have any unanswered questions, then check out some of our other videos or contact our support team who will be able to help you.